Happy Monday morning. Probably Tuesday morning for you guys. You're so cheerful. Yeah. Um, yeah, these are dirty. And they were in my... Well, I guess this is technically a diaper bag, so it's not all out of the ordinary. But this is what I've been using for my work bag. And I guess on the trip yesterday, we randomly shoved a couple of dirty diapers in this side pocket. I'm just glad I noticed before I went to work. <laughs> because I never really look in this pocket. Yeah, right. But, yeah, those were definitely used. It smells like stale pee in there. And my work bag. Yummy. Happy, happy Monday. Hey, you want to talk about how the drive home went? Uh, it almost couldn't have gone better. Yeah. I was telling my dad, he was asking how they did. And I said, if it weren't for Lyndall doing just, I mean, literally perfect, then I would have thought Bear did really well. But <laughs> to, compared to each other, Bear was the worst child. Yeah, but only because he cried for, what, 10 minutes? He, he didn't even cry. He, like, like, 40 minutes into the drive, he fussed for, like, 10 minutes just because he was at the end of his sleep cycle and probably didn't know where he was. So I peeked in, I let him suck on my fingers a little bit, and then he went back to sleep. Slept the entire rest of the way home, minus the last five, ten minutes, and he cried a little then. So, but Lyndall didn't make a peep except for coughing yeah. a little bit. Well, and then the transition into the crib. She did perfectly. Bear, I think, so I handed him off to my dad, and my dad carried him down and put him to bed, and I don't think Bear woke up that whole time so then he woke up a little bit later and I think he just had no idea where he was and cried a little so I picked him up and rocked him a little and then he slept he only ate once last night yep. and Brad fed him that's right it was awesome hey little June, June slept through the night for usual. good job Linda ah, yeah ah, lighting's weird ah, nice Happy Monday afternoon. Just got home from work. I relieved Barb of her babysitting duties. You are just a smile McSmiler, little sir. Sinley. A smile McSmilerson. <coughs> hey, Boo Bear. You're a smiley McSmilerson as well. <coughs> so, I'm sure all kids love this, but they really love. <sighs> <coughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you've seen it going around Facebook where they like, where pet owner, dog owners will throw the blanket up and disappear. I'm gonna try that. Hi, hi guys, hi, look at me, Boo Bear, Boo Bear, <coughs> Boo Bear, hi Linda, Boo Bear, 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 whoa, hey. I have a feeling that was a pretty lame reaction. So I just watched the clip back. Kind of lame. I mean, Linda like looked around for me. Bear wasn't even paying attention. I'll have to try that a little bit later. Look at you go. Keep going. Well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're crazy. Come on. Look at you. Get the next Michael Phelps. I wonder if this is what Michael Phelps was like at six months. Probably. <laughs> 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 He's doing the backstroke. <laughs> go, buddy, go! Oh, gotta take a break. So much has happened in the last week. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> hey, Junie. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. So you wouldn't know it, but I just got vomited on for the first time by Lyndall June. We'll spare you the photo. Brad had to stop what he was doing and take a picture because we needed to. I mean, it was actual, I got like legit vomited on. But it's not because she has like a stomach bug, it was because I tried to give her some medicine. It's like this homeopathic, like cough suppressant medicine. And when I did, she started coughing a whole bunch. Like I guess she didn't like the taste. I'm not really sure. Why did you start coughing so hard? Okay. Why did you cough so hard? <sighs> 
<laughs> but she started coughing really hard and then threw up all of her milk and some sweet potato applesauce. It, oh, BRB. <laughs> How sweet is this? It's a, what do you call this? Tank top with a vest? A tank top bodysuit, not a vest. Yeah, I don't know what with the name is. With a spoon, <laughs> or a, oh with, my God. <laughs> with a spoon. With a hood. <laughs> it comes with a spoon. Does it have a matching spoon? I mean, can you see where I would get a spoon? Yes. <laughs> that was the husband answer. How? cool is this though? It's like a... I don't know if I want to focus on your face or if I want to focus on the onesie. It's definitely the onesie. I want to get it all in here. <laughs> it's, a, it's a scene of Hogwarts and it's not just on the front. It's on the back. Oh my god. I want one of these to match him. Do you think you can find an adult size? Does this come in my size? What's on the menu for today, honey? I mean, I'm grappling here. I have some brown rice porridge with applesauce and I squeezed an orange into it and then tried to put a little bit of their homeopathic cough and cold medicine in there too. <laughs> so they get vitamin C and some medicine. Sounds like a recipe for disaster. Lyndall gagged and threw up a little when she had a bite. So future Brad here editing the clip porridge. Porridge is like a word from the 1800s that poor people used to eat. <laughs> poor people? <laughs> Wasn't everybody poor in the 1800s? No. <laughs> Why would everybody be poor? <laughs> um, I, Have you ever heard of Rockefeller? <laughs> Was he in the 1800s? I don't know. Was he 1900s? Probably. Future, future Rachel here. We just looked up Rockefeller. He was born in 1839. And he was loaded. Four hundred billion dollars in today's money, right? Yes. Today's so, how much is how much does the richest person today have? Well, uh, what's the Amazon? Bezos is that his name? Is he the richest man on the planet now? Yeah, he's worth more than Bill Gates and Buffett, it? Jimmy Buffett, <laughs> Warren Buffett. <laughs> no, it was it was Bill Gates and. The creator Somebody. of Apple, or CEO of Apple? No. Somebody combined. I've heard he's not a great guy. We really, really support his worth, though. Yeah. 143 billion. Could you imagine? Rockefeller had 400 billion. And equivalent. How much did he have in that time? So yeah, I guess there were some rich people in the 1800s. <laughs> And he lived to be 93, 97. 97 years old in the 1800s. That is something. It only has what it would be today. Hmm. Well, that's a rich, rich man. He... You know what? Money can't buy he you owned, happiness. He owned 2% of the United States economy. Two? That doesn't seem like very much. For one person? Well... But it can buy you a boat. billion dollars. Um, I think porridge is just like a generic term for a grain like heated up and made into a mush. Yeah. And so used in the 1800s. No. And well, he was like, isn't Pizza, it? Pizza, may I have some porridge? May I have some more porridge? Well, Brad was like, isn't it just oatmeal? But I think oatmeal is a porridge that's made out of oats. And this was obviously not oats. Back to the vlog. Back to the vlog. But I think they're coming around. You want a little bit? We'll just do a little, I think it was the texture. Because it's a little weird. Mm. Kind of chunky. <coughs> you alright? Poor little thing. I don't think she's a fan. She had a couple of bites when you weren't filming. Alright, we're gonna gag here. Alright. <sighs> This is hard. Yeah. Poor. I don't know how to get him their medicine though. Woo. Cause she won't, she won't just take it. Yeah, Mary will. Mary will just take it. 
Who's that baby? Hey, talk about your day. Bear wants to be on it on the vlog. <laughs> so Bear went down for his first nap today at seven twenty. Well, seven seventeen. He fell asleep in Brad's lap. These guys are—they have this cold that is just lingering. Which is really obnoxious because the tail end of it, you just have a lot of congestion and runny nose, right? Right. So the problem with that, and this happened when they had RSV2, RSV as well. It sounds like a... RSV2, it's like a new species of RSV. It's like a robot. So the first time, or when she had RSV, when they both had RSV, Bear handled it not as well as she did, but the side effect that she had from it was that she would throw up just I guess from all of the drainage that went into her stomach. I know that sounds disgusting. So that was happening yesterday and the good news is she was totally unaffected by it. She was happy and squealing and then she would throw up a lot and then like immediately afterwards be like happy. Yeah, so it, didn't, it didn't affect her at all. Not at all. That's it why didn't I, affect me. That's why I have this pillow here. She threw up on it. That's right, so we had to wash the cover. She threw up three times in about 20 minutes, and it was all in different places. Ah! One time was like on the floor on the rug here while I was holding her. The next time actually was while I was holding her upstairs, all over the blankets that we have ah! in the living room upstairs. And then the third time while I was while I was tandem feeding them. So it was all over the pillow, all over me, really all over her. And she was naked. Well, she just had a diaper on because she had just thrown up on her strawberry outfit yeah and that time her and I were covered so we both just needed to get in the bathtub but obviously I had bear and I was at the house by myself so I just had to wait until my mom got home from the grocery store and just held Wendell and her and I were just covered in barf for like probably 10 minutes awesome 15 minutes yeah it was awesome it was a long day hopefully there's no throw up today it, well there already has been a tiny bit. Yeah. I caught it in my hand this time. It was it was a little enough <coughs> amount that I could hold it. It's weird how vomit is really gross unless it's your own child's <coughs> vomit. And then it's like whatever. It's just another another thing to clean just up. Another bodily fluid. Yeah. So hopefully <clears throat> we're gonna <coughs> she's much better today. She hasn't hardly coughed at no, all. She sounds great today. Yeah. Hopefully she's She's on the mend. On the mend. It's weird, like when they get a cold, it fluctuates. Like they'll be kind of bad for a day and then it'll seem like they're getting better and then they'll have like the worst day yet. It's weird. Yeah. I guess that's kind of how it was when I had it. Um, there's something else. Oh, speaking of illness, I'm a big believer in like boosting your immune system in natural ways, like elderberries. So when we all had this cold, <laughs> that turned into RSV for them. Well, you never had it. Probably because of the elderberry syrup. I bought elderberry syrup, which is really expensive. <clears throat> so just the other day, I had a patient that was telling me elderberry grows wild in Missouri and you can just go pick it and make your own elderberry syrup. And they can't have elderberry syrup because there's honey in it. But when you make your own, you can make it without honey and it'll just taste really nasty, but still has all the benefits. Can you put it in like sweet potatoes or something? Yeah, I'm sure you could. Does anybody have any elderberry recipes out there? That would be helpful. For infants. But I'd like to go... My patient was telling me you can just drive around... <coughs> country roads. <coughs> drive around the country roads of Missouri and pick elderberries. And just, if someone owns the property, just ask them if it's okay if you pick some of their elderberries. So I want to do that. Brad and I have yet to go on a date in six months. Yeah, so we haven't been on a, on a real date and she wants to go pick elderberries for I our date. I think that would be a really sweet date. Oh, like that a, sounds like torture. Okay, I guess we're not going to be doing that. It's like real hot out. It's like 100 degrees. It's really humid. And we're going to go around in the weeds and pick elderberries. 
That I guess it, it is kind of hot. That doesn't sound like a good date. Well, I want to do something. I mean, I wouldn't mind picking elderberries with you, but not as a date. Okay. Well. Picking my flowers. Um, I'll have to, we should just show that. Yeah. I've, I'm making their own baby food. I've mentioned that before. For a while, I just didn't have time to make it, so I was buying organic food in the bags. But then, who was it that was telling us you can put, like, make your own food and there's a bagging system? I don't remember. Someone told us that you can just buy <clears throat> the kit to put your your baby food that you make into bags because they're just incredibly convenient for, like, on the go, even around here. Was it Pastor Andy? Yes, Pastor Andy. So I got on Amazon, and the the little device that you use to bag the food was only like 20 bucks, and then 50 bags was $16. So it'll take a while to make our money back on it, but I've already done one round of making their own food. It's up there. And they like it. They do. They like it. And it's just like the bags that you buy. It has the same type of lid. and I put it back in the fridge. Oh, good. So I'm excited about that. And then we can make all of our own food. I just got a bunch of like organic vegetables and <coughs> fruits. So we can blend them up and make baby food. There it is. Looks like the real deal. So this is banana sweet potato prune. She wants to hold it. Can she hold it? Mmm.